guys. Getting the shot. So we're talking lacrosse today. And for those of you that don't know what lacrosse is, it's a sport where you shoot a ball into a net. That's basically it. Anyways, we don't need to get into the history or much about the lacrosse. The main point of this video is to show you how I edit lacrosse goals. These techniques can also be applied to other sports such as basketball, hockey, football, baseball, any sport with a ball. These techniques don't have to be applied just to when the ball is being shot or scored. It can be applied when the ball is being thrown, caught, passed, anytime the ball is being moved from the player to the goal or to another player. All three styles of this editing are really cool. Some will work better if the tracking is on point. Some of these techniques will help if the tracking wasn't on point or if you didn't follow the ball perfectly. So let's dive in. So editing a lacrosse goal. I have three scenarios that we're gonna go through. And the first one is you did a great job filming the goal. You filmed it really well from the guy shooting it. You followed the ball all the way to the net. So you just did a great job. The second scenario is you did an okay job filming it. You got the guy shooting it and you got the ball hitting the net or you got the ball in the net, but you kind of missed the in between. And so we'll kind of show you how I edit that. And then third is you just did a terrible job filming. You kind of got the guy shooting it and you kind of got the ball going into the net, but you missed a lot of in between. And so you can still be able to salvage that scenario. So first, the you did a great job filming, but we'll watch the clip real quick. All right, so saw so it. It made it a little easier because my view was kind of wide. The frame was a wide shot, so it made it a little easy to, to do it. So, so right here, I'll probably slow it down, do time remapping. And on this beat, he's winding up, so it'd be kind of cool to see that happen. So we'll slow this down. Oh, got close to deleting that, so. So it's pretty easy. Slow it down. Just follow the ball all the way. And then on this beat, we'll probably speed it up again. Just back to 100%. And then on this beat, we'll cut it, do a jump cut to them celebrating. Probably adjust this. I kind of kind of zoomed in a little bit, so we're gonna kind of put them right in the middle of the frame. So that's it. Super simple, quick and easy. Makes it nice when you do a great job filming, editing, just makes it a lot easier. And that goes for all kinds of filming, whether it's sports or, I don't know, a movie, whatever it is, when you do a great job filming, editing, just goes a lot smoother. But let's watch it real quick. Easy. Next one is the scenario where you did a pretty good job filming the guy shooting or getting ready to shoot it, but you kind of missed the ball going to the net. So he catches it right on that B and starts winding up. So we're gonna time remap this. Bring it down about 30%. I wish there was a B right here. Oh, 
That's not bad. So like, we'll just do some, we'll just speed ramp. So that's the key is you speed ramp it. We'll, look, we'll see what it looks like at 100%. Drag it out a little bit. And then, and it's gonna hit a beat again on this. So we'll bring it back down to 32%. So we'll watch that real quick. Not bad. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Just about 115 and so he's far right and it's far right. So the point of that is so I can just kind of try to make him and the goal a little bit more centered without, without losing too much quality. And then again, if you want to, this isn't part of the thing, but just uh, go to them, cut to them celebrating. You know, it's part of the experience. There you go. That's it. In the last scenario, which is if you did a really bad job filming it, kind of got the player shooting the ball and you kind of got it going into the net, but not really. So how do you salvage that shot? Because it's still salvageable. It's not great, it's not pretty. As you can tell right here, I'll watch it real quick. It's not a very good shot. So, not very good. So what we're gonna do. So it's kind of long, we're gonna kind of jump cut to like right before he gets ready to shoot. Jump cut and slow motion is the key for this. So jump cut and then we're gonna slow it down on this beat. So we got him kind of shooting the whole time until he lost the ball. We're gonna jump cut on the beat. It's right about there. And we could even... So that's like one way to do it. Let's look at it real quick so you guys can see it better. I feel like this first shot's just a little too slow, so he kind of gets rid of it right there. And so we could jump cut this a little bit earlier. I don't know if I have him celebrating, but. But that is it, guys. Quick and easy. If you do a really good job filming, it makes it easy to edit. But just because you didn't do the best job filming doesn't mean you can't salvage what you have and still make a cool edit that the players and other people will like. So we'll just watch this real quick, and that should be it. Sorry it's so loud out here, I'm right next to the freeway. Probably should find a better place, but I just wanted to sit down. So before we watch all three, I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. 
I hope this video really has helped you out. I hope that it's helped you realize you don't have to stress so much getting the perfect shot every time during the game. Those last two techniques will really help you if you didn't get the shot perfectly. Obviously, editing and making the highlight video or the edit will go a lot smoother if you shot everything perfectly, but that can't always happen and it doesn't always happen. So some of these techniques will help you when you didn't get the shot perfectly. Follow me on Twitch if you wanna see these live streams. I'll be streaming on Saturdays. Maybe sometimes I'll game a little bit. That's why I started my Twitch channel was because I got really into a game called Overwatch and was streaming on Twitch for a few months. Maybe I'll bust it out again, who knows? So let's check out the three edits and I'll catch you guys next week.